live for Fridays for this reason. If you're looking for a meal to whip up over the holiday weekend, we have a celebrity chef with us to help you. You may know Chef Nick from HGTV, Bravo, or VH1. She's a brand in and of herself. It's what we were just talking about in the break. Um, she also goes by Nick the Chic Chef. We want to welcome her to BNC. Mm. Thanks for uh, getting up, Chef, with us, starting your day. Um, Tell us about no your problem. creation for having me. because it's a it's a beautiful yeah of course it's a beautiful dish mm -hmm. um, but how easy is it to make what's it called and what do you have there? So it's super easy. It's called summer pesto pasta. It literally takes yeah. mm. just enough time to boil the pasta, which is in between seven to eight wow. minutes. So while the pasta is boiling, you chop up your veggies, which actually consists of some great tomatoes, some cucumber. Mm -hmm and some shallot and uh we take uh what's actually called pesto which is super simple and all pesto mm -hmm. is is a nut of your choice we use walnuts today a little bit of olive oil mm -hmm. and some parmesan cheese and you're done that's Ooh, it wow I, I love pesto huh. let's talk about that's you it. because super like sharon too. said you are our brand and you know we got to get our own uh penny pasta from uh, chef nick as well because that's her pasta that. her brand uh her <laughs> wine she got everything herself but you 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 actually you went yeah. to culinary school but you didn't become a chef right away tell, tell us about your journey of how you got to where you are right now well what actually happened is i'm gonna date myself okay so i went to culinary art school in 1995 so that was a very long time ago um coming from a caribbean household being a culinary chef at that time was not good enough so my parents oh, wow. okay you have to go back to school mm. you have to do something else that's going to bring you some additional income so that's exactly what I did. I went to school, graduated, got my MBA, worked in finance for well oh, over wow. 20 years. My daughter graduated from um, uh, college. My husband, be my husband received his PhD. And I said, at that time, my, my work here is my done. Turn. It's time for me to do what I want to do at this point. <laughs> do you, and do I you actually um, yeah. went back to culinary art school, brushed up on my skills and just created my brand, which is a brand of gourmet products. And here we are. Look at you, girl. Look at that. I love pesto, by the way. <laughs> put, put, put some extra on there for so me. This, I love the consistency mm -hmm. of this pesto. This is how it's supposed to look. It's not supposed to be too thick. It's oh, not wow. supposed to be too mm -hmm. um, runny. So this is the perfect consistency for the um, pesto. But what I love about this pasta is you can literally add anything that you want and you can deduct anything that mm -hmm. you want. Uh, you can even make it vegan by removing the Parmesan cheese from it. Uh, if yeah, you want sure. a more heartier pasta, you can add steak, you can add chicken, you can add mushrooms. It's yes. literally, you can add anything as you want. And you saw how quick and easy it was for me to whip together. And the overall flavor it's flavorful is too. on another um, level. Right, yeah. It's flavorful. It's the flavor. It is definitely flavorful. Looks, you really don't need yeah, anything else, but wisdom. you know, we want to season everything as we go, right? So <laughs> I'm just going to add some garlic and herb. <laughs> Seasoning you know we got to season our food, girl. We can't have them. bland food. We season <laughs> Not on everything, the black okay? Mm -hmm. Exactly. I season the mm -hmm. pasta when it's boiling. I season as I'm as go. I'm preparing, and then I'm gonna give it another seasoning splash once yeah. we are done. Hey, but chef, I do have see, a question look how for you. That looks. Yes. Um, actually, too, when you poured the pesto in there, is the pasta mm -hmm. still warm? That's the first question. And then I want to know what what does Chic Chef, your your company, offer um, to the foodies out there? Because you have a number of things mm -hmm. in the line. Yes. Okay. So the pasta, it's it's better if the pasta is a little warm because it helps the pesto spread mm -hmm. better. But if it's cold mm -hmm. and you just boil okay. your pasta like ahead of time, that's also fine because the oil kind of wakes it up a little bit. So whichever okay. way you decide to go is fine. But just on the sake of, you know, you want your meal to be prepared in 10 minutes, you can have it warm and it's totally fine. Okay. So as far as yeah, what I, I have I to love offer pesto. to the foodie world, oh, me yeah. too. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. Um, but as far as what I have to offer to the foodie world, I basically have everything. I call myself a mini Walmart. <laughs> I have <laughs> knives, I have pasta, I have nice. 32 um, blends of olive oil. I have about 42 wow. spice blends, um, pots, pans, um, spoons, just literally 
everything. It's an arsenal of everything foodie. And wow. that's Where important can we to bring get yourself in. And yeah. Yeah. It is. Mm hmm. Yeah, where and can we get it? Only thing we're gonna do is it available on the website? Oh, it's available on the website. It's www.chicchefco.com. Mm. But then also mm -hmm. on June 5th, I'm opening up a marketplace here in Phoenix where people can come in and enjoy the foodie's paradise. Oh, and it'll nice. be right next door to my restaurant, which the date is to be to, to be determined based on permits. But at least I, we have a whole row where people can come in. You can come in and enjoy the food and I can make it for you. Or you can stop by the marketplace and pick up all the products that I'll be preparing in the um, restaurant and they can make it themselves. All right, yeah, my you, parents you are out there, so I got to give them a shout. <laughs> you got to hook. And then, yes. then your parents can also go and, and support her because she's doing events. You, you do give back to the community, okay. Black Girls yes. Brunch. Yeah, well, why, are they important for the, why is that important for the black women that's out there? It's so important because we need to understand, we need to normalize eating luxuriously. So, you know, mm -hmm. having something that you've never had before prepared by a black yes. chef is totally mm -hmm. important because it 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 allows you to travel to different areas of the world that you may not have gone to and I'm classically trained in so many different types of food. So, you get that little taste of everywhere from around the world, but you're having me make it for you. So, I think that within and of itself is something that um, black women would definitely want to be a part of. Absolutely. Well, if you want to Absolutely. take us around the world, you can come cook for us, too. I mean, we can open up some I barriers cannot and wait. some bonds. I and, cannot wait. Yeah, I mean. Definitely. Atlanta I can't wait until COVID now. is over, so I can definitely start to explore. <laughs> exactly. Yes, exactly. right. Well, we love it. We know where to get everything. Um, that looks delicious. Well, look Presentations, that. everything. What's that on top, Is that top, the Parmesan Jeff? cheese? Thank you. No, you have to hit that with the feta cheese at the end. Oh, the feta. Yes, oh, the feta I cheese. Knew it. Okay, feta. Feta yes. cheese. Yes, look, that at that. look at that. Yes. Look at that. It looks it, so good. And of and course, it looks, because it looks we love light, seasoning. Right? It's super light, but is it again, light? you can make yeah. this. It is light, but you can add chicken in here, like I said, Mike. You can add steak. You can literally mm -hmm. make it as light or heavy as you want. But because it's summertime, we want to try to keep our figures thin. We want to keep those six packs mm -hmm. all intact this is the perfect way yeah and oh, it's yeah, so easy that's what thing. i love but when you played it up like that i mean it just looks like mm -hmm. i can do it easy. and people would be impressed you can do it and it looks like you've been in the kitchen all day and you've literally only been in here for 10 minutes so and then we top it with some fresh yeah. um basil and when i say it's super yummy it's super yummy Mm -hmm. I hope my wife's watching because I need that in my life right there. We need that Come recipe on, too. I think I'll the recipe. Make it. <laughs> make it yes. for Cynthia. You do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know Mike, what? The Father's so Day is coming that you up. You can do this. Surprise <laughs> her and do this. Okay, I'm a yeah. Thank I'm gonna try. I'm gonna attempt. Thank I'm you. gonna rewind this tape. Watch what you did. But you know, I'll probably have like five or six cuts on my hand trying to cut the cucumbers and the tomatoes. Those mm. little small you tomatoes. Won't. I just. Mm hmm. Yeah, when I lose three of my fingers, it's then I'll just have simple, to say, see, Cynthia should have made it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You can leave these tomatoes whole. You can leave them whole. That way you don't even have to slice them. So you're only going to be slicing your cucumber. That's anything. it. See? Easy. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to make sure I do that. Chef Nick, thank you so much. We uh, love you. We thank appreciate you. My that. pleasure. Uh, we're going to support you and your my brand. Pleasure. And come back anytime. Thank and you. once again, you got to come yeah. to Atlanta. We need to be cultured. We want some good food. But I'm telling my daddy, Absolutely. my daddy about you.